Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel Understood. I am Ben Suresh. Today we are going to the part 5 of Engineering Thermodynamics. So come let's get started. So before moving on to the topic, so let's uh, uh, let's see what is the meaning of the topic first. As in most of this uh, engineering, while studying engineering, in most of the topics if you see that, from that topic itself you will be getting the meaning. Okay. From that topic itself a meaning will be and from that that meaning will be a key point to understand what is the process okay so let's first let's find out what is the meaning of this heading first so here with what it is written quasi static process right so quasi static process so what is the meaning of quasi quasi means almost what is the meaning of quasi quasi means almost and what is the meaning of static now you can see a static static means normally Star, the meaning of static means at rest. Now we can see that in engineering applications, you can see that you will be studying uh, engineering in engineering mechanics. You will be studying that uh, study of a uh, study at static and uh, study of static conditions at dynamic conditions like that. You will be learning right. So that same meaning here here also. So the meaning of static means at rest, or else, or you can say that at stationary position. That you say it as static. Okay. So. If you uh, if you uh, join both the meaning together, what will be the meaning now? Almost at rest process. So almost at rest process. What be uh, what do you understand from this? Almost at rest process. It's nothing but a slow slow process, right? Normally you can see that when an object is at rest now. Now if it slowly moves, if you go go near and if you observe only, you can see that this object is moving. If you observe it from a far distance, you can see that it's slowly moving, right? It's slow. Uh, if you observe it from far distance, you can't. Uh, you can see that it is at rest, and you can uh, you can't feel that it is moving. While you go nearer and if you observe this object only, you will be seeing that it is moving. Okay. So from this, you can understand that this process is a very slow process in which the system passes through many number of equilibrium states during what time? During change of states. So this is the definition. Okay. So from the from the meaning we have identified the definition. So from the meaning we have identified the definition now. So it's nothing but very slow process in which the system passes through many number of equilibrium states. So at what time during change of states during change of state. Okay, and this part uh, this is a impossible process. Always keep that in mind. This is a impossible process. Okay, so uh, let's move on uh, with an experiment. To find out, uh, to find the real meaning of it. Okay, now we have found the definition. Now let's move on to the experiment. Okay, so in this experiment, now consider this metal, metal container. Okay, it consists of a stock, and it, this uh, this also cons uh, this also consists of a piston here. So below this piston, you have the system. System is nothing but the gas. Okay, the gas is nothing but the system. Okay, and above you have the piston here. See here. You can see here. Here is a green color dot line have shown. This is nothing but the piston. So it consists of a stop mass. Uh, mass. It's nothing but the block. A block is being get. A block has a mass. Okay. That's why he's saying a block is being kept on the piston. Below that we have the system. It is nothing but the gas. Okay. Now we can see that this is in an equilibrium condition. Okay. I have said in short form. This is in an equilibrium state. Okay. This is in an equilibrium state. Okay. Now here you can see that. Uh, why it is in equilibrium state? Because the force, this weight, uh, this mass has a weight, right? That's why I have denoted it as W. So this weight gives a force downwards, okay? So it pushes the piston downwards. Whereas the pressure in the gas, gas also has a pressure, okay? So the pressure also gives an upward force in an opposite direction. So you can see that both the forces are balanced. As both the forces are balanced, we can see that it's uh, this piston stands in the same position and it does not move here or here, right? That's why it is said to be in equilibrium state. Okay, now it is in an equilibrium state. Now, now consider that we are taking off. Now we are taking off this mass from this uh, from, uh, as it was before. It was like this. Now we are taking off this mass now. That's why I didn't. Uh, we are taking out it whole mass. While taking out the whole mass, what will happen? You can see that while taking out the whole mass here, you can see that this force is being cancelled. And this force dominates. Here you can see that it dominates. So and uh, so a force is being created. That means an unbalanced force is being created. First it was balanced. Now it is unbalanced. 
so when an unbalanced force takes place you can see that it reaches in it uh, it is uh, it is coming in a non equilibrium state now it has reached in a non equilibrium state as it has a unbalanced force it has a it is in a non equilibrium state now during non equilibrium state uh, what will happen you can here you can see that in a system now in a system non equilibrium state when non equilibrium state happens what will happen a change of state takes place what will happen a change of state takes place so why a change of state is taking place uh, uh, to reach equilibrium so the change of state is taken place to reach equilibrium so this is the mechanism when it reaches the system reaches in non equilibrium state now here you can see that the system it reaches in a non equilibrium state so non equilibrium state what happens change of state takes place so here you can see that the piston force of the piston it moves fully upward because this force dominates right as this force dominates now here the mass uh, mass that force is not there so it fully pushes the piston till the stop and here you can see that again it's equilibrium because again it's at rest right it's at a static position and there's no movement everything is being balanced here so you can see that it is again at equilibrium always at equilibrium the object will be at uh, at a stationary position it will not be moving okay so here again it reaches at the stop it reaches at rest so now it is in equilibrium condition so during non equilibrium what will happen change of state has taken place that is from p1 v1 to p2 v2 so this uh, first this gas was in an initial state initial state means now normally what is a state state is nothing but when the system has a definite property definite definite physical properties then we call that the state uh, it is in an the system is in an initial state okay now you can see that this gas was in an initial state it has a definite uh, value of pressure and it has a definite value of uh, definite value of volume that's why it's in an in, uh, that's in a state that is the initial state here uh, you can also add temperature but to understand this topic we are not including temperature so we are neglecting it okay so this uh, system only has pressure now it has pressure and a volume a definite value pressure and volume so after the change of state what will happen the pressure is giving during expansion what will happen the pressure reduces right so the pressure is being reduced now it's changed into p2 and the volume volume first it was less now it increased right so when the volume increases what will happen v2 will uh, so v1 is increased so it reaches v2 so the change of state has taken place due to non equilibrium as it reaches non equilibrium state change of state has taken place now the final state has been achieved by the system now now you can see that from the pv graph pressure volume graph this is the pressure volume graph you can see here so in the pressure volume graph what do you observe we observe that first this was in an initial condition uh, i'll explain it more clearly first this uh, first the system was in an initial initial state this is uh, refers to initial state that is one that is the pressure is also high and the uh, volume is less here so here it was in p1 v1 now what is the final state here p2 v2 as i said before pressure has changed to p2 and volume has also increased to and it changes to v2 so here change of state has taken place okay so in this change of state what is uh, what, here here you have an equilibrium and also here you have an equilibrium right in both the states you have like this is uh, this is the piston reaches at stop and this is the place where the mass is was being kept as uh, as i said before so here at both points you have equilibrium so what about the middle position in the middle you have many points so what about the middle so in middle you have non equilibrium states okay you have it consists of non equilibrium states because nothing is the uh, directly change of state uh, it has reached a non equilibrium state and change of state has taken place okay so in the middle you have non equilibrium states so this is uh, this is a normal process which you see as i said before uh, the the now the experiment which i uh, showed is the normal process now how how can we make this normal process a quasi static process simple okay now consider the same apparatus here here you have the container you can see the contain metal container it consists of a piston and down it consists of gas as i said before the same diagram same diagram as i said here here the mass is being so what but what is the difference here it is again it's in equilibrium okay but what is the difference that block we divide into small number of pieces okay so as you divide a ball, ball means uh, block means what will happen the block is divided means even the mass is also divided right okay so divide the block into small pieces so now we can consider it is divided into 10 pieces for example i am consider 10 pieces okay now it's in an equilibrium state now the weight is being balanced here pressure force is also giving opposite force is being given now it's in equilibrium state now while you take one component one small piece if you take it out what you observe here you can consider that while taking a small piece out n is equal to 9 now the total number of uh, the elements which are present here is 9 now remaining so 
here you can see that a small movement has been taken place so small movement why because why it has taken place due to non equilibrium state as i showed the mechanism here here again i'll show you with the mechanism here you can see that in non equilibrium system when non equilibrium state has been achieved what will happen change of state has taken place to reach equilibrium so again it reaches here it reaches at equilibrium again this weight is being balanced and the force is being balanced it reaches at equilibrium so small but a small movement takes place as we are taking only one small piece of block okay a, a small piece of mass is reduced so when mass is reduced the weight is also reduced so the as weight is being reduced the pressure it literally dominates lightly it dominates and it reaches again at equilibrium now consider that we are taking one by one again and again so while taking one by one again and again uh, till it reaches the stop as i said in before uh, before a uh, normal process it reaches the stop okay till it reaches stop we are going to take this mass out so from this pv graph so uh, from that we are plotting a pv graph here so in this pressure volume graph okay so in this pressure volume graph you can see that here it is an in, in initial state here it is the final state then what will be in the middle now here you can say before uh, been before process we saw in the middle there are, it consists of non equilibrium states but in this process what we observe in the middle we have many number of equilibrium states that's why this process in the, we say that succession of equilibrium states occur, occur. for uh, uh, for easy purpose i have said that it's passing through many number of equilibrium states you can write even like that because succession many people may, uh, may have not uh, understood that what is the meaning of that and they will find it tough while writing in their examinations so succession of equilibrium states that means each equilibrium state has been achieved at one by one so succession of equilibrium state has been taken place in the middle portion so this is nothing but quasi static process okay and one more advantage of this quasi static process this process is reversible and also this is impossible always keep in mind this process is impossible now we can say that how it is reversible now place here you can see that this is the this is the object here now place each mass one by one here Uh, first it was uh, taken out and it reaches at this position okay as i said in the before uh, before uh, section you can see that uh, video in the before uh, before a diagram this was taken out now keep the small piece of mass one by one again you keep uh, one piece of mass again above that one more piece of mass till that pieces of mass are being achieved so you can see that again this graph moves from here to here you can see that from 2 to 1 you can see that this moves from 2 to 1 this graph move, uh, moves again from 2 to 1 as you keep the mass in the again as so in the full mass as you keep uh, small piece of mass one by one it reaches the same position till here so this is also considered as reversible okay this process is also called a reversible process that's why they call this process a reversible process this is nothing but quasi static process so let's recap recap what is quasi static process quasi static process from the meaning of the topic uh, from the meaning we identify what is that it is almost at rest process okay and what is uh, from that we derive the definition what is that it's a very slow process in which the system passes through many number of equilibrium states so at what time uh, at what time it, uh, this takes place during change of state so the system passes through many number of equilibrium states during change of state and this is impossible this process is impossible and but and it is reversible okay so this is nothing but quasi static process hope so everyone would have liked this video so if you like this video please share it to your friends those who feel tough about quasi static process i have detailed it fully completely if you see this video itself you can uh, directly write in examinations okay so directly you can uh, attend uh, attend this question if you if it come in uh, and also you can say it to anyone if you, if you, anyone is in need so you can share this video so that it will be helpful for them so please like share and subscribe so you will be getting better videos like this so this is ben suresh signing off bye bye see you